Uh, we're here with another video, another mountain bike related video on a fork swap over. So we've got some manner to machete forks over there, 29 plus. Um, so basically we're going to take out the RockShox Recon RL forks that came stock on my 2019 Specialized Stump Jumper. We've got Topsy the Workshop Dog here. You know, sniffing away. Yeah, isn't that right? And then, so yeah, we're going to remove the forks by taking out the front wheel, taking off the front brake, um, taking off the head stem, and then the stem, not head stem, call it what you want. And I also got a bone in, up in there. So take that out and we're going to measure it up. And then we'll refit this other fork. What we need for this is star nut. So you've got to buy one of these separate to your forks. Um, most forks don't come with it. Just, you know, sits in your steerer tube um grease for the bearing races just got some finish line premium grease teflon base allen key set for taking it off a hacksaw guide or a pipe cutter for cutting down your steerer tube i'll show you what the steerer tube is in a minute a star nut installer shock pump a hammer and hacksaw in case the hammer in case we get sick of it and just want to bash at one. No, I'm just joking. Um, has to hit in the star nut. So let's get started with the fork. Removing this fork. All right, guys. I've set you down on a window sill. Just gonna readjust it. There's my bike. I don't, probably don't think you guys will get the best frame of view, but we're gonna pull it apart and I'll just run you through it. Just gonna grab the arm key set. Obviously, actually, depends if your front wheel is through axle. So if you're a through axle front wheel, or quick release or whatever, just front wheel. Um, so here's the fork I just took off, put the bar in, in there, just to come off, there's bar end, we got some stuff stashed inside there, yeah that's still in there, um, got the star nut, that's the star nut in there, um, so my fork has got a little bridge thing here, to see where it goes down. Now I'm gonna just hit off the bearing race. Take the bearing race off. No. So I can install it on my new fork. Here's your bearing race. So let that sit on there. There's my fork. I'll just be back and grab a tape measure. Got a tape measure. Measure up the fork. I'm just gonna take the bearing race off. Don't lose it. Very horrible if you do. This is my fork steer tube. You're gonna measure the bottom of this thing to here. Say so seven point two inches. 180 millimeters. Nearly 185 millimeters. So long my steer tube is. Just double check. There you go. There are two machetes. Top see the workshop dog. That's you. So you got suspension fork manual. Um, and here you got your box, your forks. So we're gonna pull 
all the forks out. Here they are. Pretty nice, they got 140 millimeters. You got the lockout, quick toggle, you got the air spring, star knot in there. I'm gonna measure that up, etch it. And yeah. Back. Give you a few more close up give you a few more close ups as the fork. Anti machete. Got the hex lock system. Which is pretty cool. Got your rebound adjustment. You got the knot for taking the fork apart. Got the reverse arch, which is pretty cool I reckon. Got these slanted bottom out things. Well that's not where the fork actually bottoms out. It's 140 millimeters of travel, 29 a plus. Which is pretty cool. Put you guys back over here. So you can watch me. Clamp it in this, hack sorted it away. Now we're just gonna fire file it, make sure it's all nice and smooth and take off the burr. Then put it in the bike, stall the brake and we're ready to go. Okay, so we've just installed the fork. Looks absolutely amazing. Now we've just got to chuck the brake on, chuck the wheel in, set the sag. Oh, we've got to tighten up them first, which I'll do on the bike, because, you know, it should be all good. Okay, guys, the forks have been done. They look bloody amazing. So the thing is with this hex lock system is you tighten it up here, but the axle goes out that way, if that makes sense. So you've got the tight thing up here. As you tighten it, that'll go in. As you loosen it, the axle comes out that side. That's it for the video, guys. Just got to straighten up the stem, clean up that, and I'm going to go give it a trial run, and I'll take you guys with me. Catch ya.